In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add an Instagram feed to your Shopify store. Basically, it's going to show some posts from your Instagram account and it will display them wherever you want on your online store. You can click on the post and it will play the videos or the photos, whatever you have in your Instagram account. So basically, I have mostly videos in this account, so that's why it only shows videos. But let's get to the setup. First of all, let's go back to your Shopify dashboard. And the first thing we need to do is add an app. I think this app is called Insta Feed. As you can see, it shows right here at the top. But if you can't find it right there, you can go to the Shopify app store and then we can just do a search Insta Feed and you can find it right here. Insta Feed, Instagram Feed. We can click on that and then we're going to click on Add App on this screen. Then we scroll down and verify all this information and then we just click on Install App. And as far as the installation goes, basically it's done. Now we need to be logged in in the Instagram account that we want to link to our store. So first of all, you go to Instagram.com and then you log in in that account, right? Once you have logged in into your account in this browser, then you click on connect with Instagram. So I'm already logged in. So that's why I just click connect to Instagram. And this is the name of the account that I want to link. I'm just going to click allow. And it has basically been connected on the right. You can see a preview how it's going to look. As you can see, all the posts are all together. If I want to add some spacing, for example, I click on medium and then click save. Where's the save button? Save feed. And you can see it changes. If I do it small spacing, save feed, it changes the spacing. So whatever feels better for you Two rows. If I just want to make one row, for example, just display a few products. I only have four products right there. You can change here, for example, open pop up product. It was like, as I showed you at the beginning, I click on a video and without leaving your store, it displays an Instagram screen as if you were in the browser. You can change it to go to Instagram directly. So when you click on this post, then it takes you to Instagram. And if you don't want it to do anything, you just want to display static images, then you can just click do not nothing, but I'm going to leave it an open pop up and show the product. So I'm going to leave it an auto configuration, grid squares. We can do tiles. Let's say feed and see what that looks like. As you can see, it changed. And maybe for your kind of post, it looks better. If you have reels and stuff like that, it might look better. But I have square videos, so it looks very ugly for me. So you can play around with these options and see what fits better for you. I'm going to leave it at grid square, save feed, and just one row. So it doesn't take too much space on my homepage. So basically, you save your feed, and that's what's going to display in your store. Now, let's go ahead and add it to the actual store. So we're going to click on online store. We click an online store, and then we click on themes. We already have it selected, so it shows right here. That's my current theme. We're going to click on customize to add the section. But before, let's check out the store, refresh. And as you can see, I only have the menu, the banner and then the product, right? So we're going to click on customize on the theme that I have active. And as you can see, we're going to go directly to this section where we have template. So we have the banner, which is this image and then a feature collection, which is the products. Now we're going to click on add section. And then I'm going to go to the apps at the bottom and I have Insta feed there. Click Insta feed and we've already made all the changes before. So basically this is just going to display the section that we have already configured. So we don't have to do anything else here other than just place it where we want it to be. So you can make some customizations here. If you want it to be less wide, just going to leave it to 100%. So it takes the whole row. So as you can see, we have it down here at the bottom, but I would like to display it right at the top right here, right before the banner. So the easier way to do it is just to drag this Insta feed directly from here on the template section. Just click and hold this and then just drag it to the top. And as you can see, it's changing and basically just click save. And now our Insta feed shows at the top of the page. So we have the menu and then we have the banner and all of that. So now let's go ahead and click on the store and refresh so that we can see the feed right there at the top. So I'm going to click on this post and as you can see the videos play, you can actually scroll through the posts. This is the second post, as you can see, three, four, five, etc., etc. Yep, so that's how easy you can add your Instagram post to your online store. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful rest of the day, my friends, and stay safe out there.